Hello, it's Chad Buck, Mr. Judah Dan, Aleph Met 360. Um, what you're looking at here is the way I mark out the Jubilee. And the way I do it is the way the Bible says to do it, you know. Because what you're looking at here, we've already went through this, is one week, one week of years. Seven 360 day years. And that's what you're looking at. So let me make sure I'm centered here. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, so right here, this top row represents this whole thing here. A one week of years, you see? And, and one week of years looks just like this all the way down the line. <coughs> so you count out seven weeks of years, right? On the 49th year... This month right here, in the seventh year, because it's a seventh year land Sabbath, the 49th year, you end up on the Day of Atonement. It will always be on the fifth day of the week, forever. <laughs> on the Day of Atonement, you blow the trumpet, letting everybody know that the following, that it starts from, goes from there all the way to there. And that is the 50th year right there. See, the first will be last and the last will be first. You see? And so, so that's where we got. We got seven weeks of years, the 49th year on the Day of Atonement, the 10th day of the seventh month, you blow the trumpet and you announce that the following year is to be the Jubilee. That is the 50th year, and it starts over again. So you don't go 50 and then go 51. No, the 50th is the first. Hence, the first will be last, and the last will be first. So, Psalm 90, verse 12. Um, in my Bible, it says, Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. I don't think, see, the devil wants you to number your days. So know that your days are numbered <laughs> so you can be finished. That's not what God meant. He wants you to number your days correct so you can gain a heart of wisdom. Because fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So knowledge of His feast days and His Sabbaths Remember, folks, we're not just supposed to keep the seventh day holy. We keep all of God's feast days holy. And that's what we're, we're trying to learn. Um, we're learning. And, folks, this isn't about salvation. Salvation is God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whoever would believe in him would have eternal life. God's salvation was... Jesus dying on the cross, that is salvation. That's God loving us. Us loving God is obedience to Him. Jesus and the Father are one. So now what laws don't you have to keep? If Jesus and the Father are one, don't we want to obey? That's the whole point. And we don't obey. Newsflash, folks. The law never was about salvation. It's just simply how God wants to be loved. If we love God, what do we need? If we're obeying God, if we're obeying Him, what do we need saved from? Only lawbreakers need saved. Well, we've all fallen short. We've all sinned. And so Jesus, God gave His only Son. But some people are saved and they continue in rebellion. Some people receive salvation and they love God. And out of love for God, they desire to become obedient to His Word. And that's the camp that we're trying to fall in. So we don't want people to get confused and think we're trying to earn our salvation by keeping the law. That's not what we're doing. Breaking the law, however, is sin. And Jesus come to take away our sin so that we wouldn't... Um, so that we keep his feast days and his Sabbaths and his laws. Okay, what does the Holy Spirit do? He lives within us and he does what? He writes his, his laws. He writes the law on our hearts and on our minds. Right? 
so um, that's what we're trying to do. So I don't want people getting f confused and think, oh, we're not doing our part because we don't know. You know, God's teaching us by His Spirit. He knows we don't know. He knows that the shepherds that are placed over the land are there to not care for her, not to seek the lost, to not bind up the injured, and to not go after the strays. But praise be to God, His Holy Spirit is coming to get the strays, isn't He? You folks know what I'm talking about. We've all strayed sometimes and fallen short. So, so don't get confused. We're not talking about salvation. Salvation is faith in Christ, crucified, risen from the dead. But guess what, folks? Jesus is the truth. The truth is what it always was, the Word of God. Okay? So um, I'm going to end this here because I think I explained the Jubilee. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, I will really quick. We are in the second year of the sixth week. That's where we're at in it. We have this many days... 12, 12 months and so many days till Jubilee, till we blow the trumpet, letting everybody know it's the Jubilee. The people that pr practice Judaism, they use the calendar of the Medes and Persians and call it Hebrew. They're going to be expecting their, their king to show up any minute now because they think it's Jubilee right now. So... It's up to you, and you can go ahead and do the math if you want to, and just, you can either trust me or trust God, or, or you can go ahead and try to do the math. It really is boggling, but go ahead and try. Okay, this is it, folks. I love you, man. Peace.